So, in this section, we are done with lips, and I'm going to make another one for forehead and the rest of the face. But for eyes, uh, we can't use this eye because um, this won't work for a cartoony character. It, it, it uh, moves with uh, uh, eyelashes move with eye and it, it does it, it can be, be be done with this character as you can see uh, the meta human one has a um, bulge eyelids but our character almost has no eyelids so we need to make the eye uh, deformation from scratch for this character but we can have um, other portions like uh, forehead and probably uh, ear which actually does not have much motion anyway uh, but before doing that let's first apply the lips the lips deformation and the lower part of the face so if you remember from other tutorials we can't use the mesh as is and we have uh, to duplicate it because this mesh is uh, bind to a to to a skin cluster and skin cluster. Actually, um, I'm going to show you what's going on here. If I remove the skin cluster, you can see actually uh, the mesh is Z up. It's not Y up. The the default default trans uh, transformation for the mesh is Z up and it's not going to work for us and for that reason I duplicated the mesh I'm going to unparent it and I'm going to call it lips changer this is the blend shape and we need three blend shapes for um, the blend, main, main blend shape and then we are going to apply the other blend shape to this guy um, so I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to call this lips uh, blend shape and I'm going to hide the blend shape geometry lip changer lip blend shape and it's a good practice to always put names on anything because you're gonna get confused very quickly um, so I'm going to apply this head to lip changer uh, as blend shape and the four blend shape and here's the brain shape and I'm setting it to one. I'm going to hide this one. We don't need it. And I'm going to have a, a proxi uh, proximity wrap, which I used in the tutorial of applying any arbitrary face to uh, apply metahuman risk to any arbitrary face. And we are going to use the same deformer. From the form menu, I'm selecting proximity wrap, and by control A, I bring its attributes and max driver one. A scale fall of 50 is enough, and smoking influence, the maximum is going to be 20, but 10 will work for us for this character. And I select on edit nodes and I'm going to lip changer as driver and lips blend shape as geometry. And it takes like 10 seconds. And now it's ready. Now I'm going to hide this guy and check check the deformation check our rig and remember we don't we don't we are going to remove any uh, deformation from the eyes and ear or head and 
The only portion that we are uh, we need to watch in, right now is uh, lips and nose and jaw and etc. As you can see, it is working. I can close the mouth and here is as you can see the rig is working even for nose and lower lip and other and mouth opening I want to check jaw kind of okay maybe we can add some kind of corrective blend shape later but it seems okay and now let's hide this guy I'm going to save it as an incremental save and it's a good practice to save your scene incrementally um, so let's uh, have a duplicate of our blend shape and this time I'm calling it head blend shape and I'm going to uh, unhide it and I'm going to unhide the original metahuman geometry and now I'm going to duplicate this guy again and unparent it and I'm going to call it head changer and now I'm going to unlock transformation now I'm going to uh, modify center pocket and I just the only the only portion that matters to me is not I just forehead I think it should be It should be lower because eyes here and forehead is here. It's like this portion is going to be affecting. It's okay. Now I can, I'm going to freeze the transformation of this guy, modify, freeze, tra freeze transformation, deleting the history. And I'm going to apply blend shape to head changer, the form blend shape. And if I add the blend shape, it just confirm to the other one because we freeze the transformation and we need to set it as um sorry. I did a mistake actually. I need another one before freezing transformation see we have this transformation and I'm going to call this head changer transform and make a duplicate of it and head changer without transform transform freeze maybe and it's very important to have very good name and now this guy has uh, uh, I'm going to add a blend shape to this guy from the original one 
the for boolean shape right and this one this time it's not going to shrink and i'm going to add the formation this guy is freezed should be freeze modify freeze transformation and i'm deleting the story this guy is and from head changer transform to head changer freeze transform i am going to add a blend shape and as you can see it shrinks but if i set it on world it won't shrink as you can see it's here it's not shrinking and we don't need to watch this guy so i'm going to hide this one so we have a head blend shape and head changer transform freeze actually freeze is not a word frozen i think or maybe freeze the frozen whatever okay freeze anyway now i'm going to add another uh proximity wrap control a one 50 10 edit notes and blend shape is going to be our geometry head blend shape and head changer head changer freeze our driver and waiting for a few seconds and now let's check it this time we are checking the let's hide this guy we are checking the forehead area as you can see it is working And later we are going to remove any deformation on the eye and other areas. And actually for um, four ears, because this guy has a big ear and I think it needs more motion. And I don't care about the motion of the ear. I could actually maybe let's fix it okay so how can i fix it and i'm going to this uh, proximity wrap and i'm going to actually let's remove it select remove it and i'm going to fix the ears so for fixing the ears let's hide this guy and show this guy actually not hiding this guy because we need a reference and I'm going to change this blend shape to something meaningful and actually it has a meaningful name and animation shape editor And this is for original and we don't need this one and this is the one that we are looking for and I'm going to add target and it automatically goes into edit mode and I can start changing it and I'm going to select uh topology as symmetry and i'm going to select the entire ear
it's okay. Now I'm also going to add soft selection and moving the ears. Actually, for ears, we need to have a custom. I think this guy need to move the ear a little more than a regular human being. And it needs some custom, custom blend shape or motion, whatever we use which it's not going to be in this tutorial, but I just put the ear so you can see, you can use the corrective blend shapes. And now that we have corrective blend shapes, it's a good idea to change some other portions. Like, I, I noticed that, I noticed that this area is too close to eye, I mean, moving the eyes, it moves the eyes. And I think this, sh this should work for us. And let's actually exclude the eye a little more and as you can see everything is still working and nothing is wrong uh, okay now let's add proximity wrap again 1 50 and 10 edit notes as geometry freeze trans freeze transform as driver or should I say frozen transform and for some reason it didn't work because I guess it's because The reason that it doesn't work with we need to duplicate it again yeah that's that's how it works and this is how you you use it, this this guy has two blend shapes and it needs to be clean without without I mean the the, the, the start position should be uh, or binding pose but blend shape doesn't have bind pose but assuming that it has bind pose it is like that and I'm going to make another one and now I'm going to select this guy then this guy and add a blend shape and I'm hiding this one and uh, the proximity wrap proximity wrap one fifty and ten edit notes I select head blend shape as geometry and this guy as driver and this time it's working. Let's check the trick. As you can see, we have good motion for here. And let's check other portions. Yeah, and this time it's not affecting the eyes. Very good. Now let's combine these and I'm going to save it. 
So what we have is a head boolean shape and we are done with using a uh, metahuman face and I'm going to uh, head blend shape, lips blend shape, lips blend shape, and then blend shape, and add blend shape. And now I'm going to select the loops again should be here and expand selection and also this group where this is maybe and the form blend shape and this time I can see I'm going to remove the blend shape overall overall on the eyes replace it with zero and I'm going to to vertex mode and by shift click I'm reversing the vertex selection and I'm going to the tool again which I missed it and shape and I'm going to smooth And smoothing it out. Later, I back to it if it needs more smooth. And now I'm going to select the all the areas except ears and forehead. Everything except ears and forehead and actually from here and for blend shape paint blend shape and I'm going to uh, actually reverse the selection and I'm going to remove the lip blend shape from these areas it takes time I hope it's not going to crash and now let's smooth it okay While I'm I'm selecting this area, I'm going to exclude the other area from it, replace to zero and smooth it a few times. Okay, now 
it's ready to test drive okay we don't have any weird thing around the eyes but I have some motion here that I, I'm not happy with as you can see I still have let's check forehead okay here I need to remove the head plane shape from these areas and also remove the lip splash from actually it's not that bad it's kind of natural and also we don't need any balance shape to, to the body so let's take the old lens shape and first of all remove every blend shape from the and what is this one what looks like a vertex i never had seen anything like that a vertex a floating vertex okay replace and probably I'm grabbing this area and smoothing it good maybe even this area we don't need the land shape at all replace and smooth I have blend ship here to actually let's select the entire neck to do smoothing as much because because I'm not I don't want to affect the eyes I'm going to select these vertices and then I'm going to smooth it just two steps enough good now I want to actually I deleted the lips from here but for some reason it is still working and I guess it's because of smooth yeah it is because of smooth and we don't need maybe a little more replace and moving it but not too much okay two steps now okay why it is ah it is because of the other balance shape obviously and this is a natural movement and I don't want to have any blend shape on this area because this character is kind of very stylized and should not have motion in this area 
and let's paint actually this area is supposed to be palm palmy and let's remove all the plane shape here and also let's move it And I'm wondering why I still having this eye and this light here. Let's get rid of, get rid of the lights. And yeah, I need the eyes. I need this guy. I'm going to delete it. Actually, I don't need eyes at all. Let's hide it for now. And... Look, looks okay. Uh huh. Here's a problem. Actually, it's not. It is natural. It is. Is what it is supposed to be, right? And yeah, it is natural. Okay. So, what next? Okay. I think we are going to the third part. We are going to have the third part that it's going to be eyes and I'm going to stop the video here.